Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is Lesson 40B, brought to you by HollywoodFurdo.com. And uh, today I just want to kind of extend on what I talked about in 40A, just show you a few other ways that I am using scenes as overlays to add functionality where none exist. And this is my uh, Android car tablet. If you haven't checked out my car tablet series, you should, because uh, if you've read much about Android Auto, you'll find out that you can get way more functionality and cool stuff having an Android tablet than what Android Auto has built into it. So anyway, that's not what this is about though. This is just showing you some cool things that uh, I did with Tasker. Um, these are things I did using scenes. And basically, uh, if you swipe over here, this is sort of the music scene in uh, uh, Car Home Ultra. And uh, you can see it gives the name of the artist and the name of the uh, uh, song that's being played. Um, but it doesn't give album information and there's no album art. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool if I had album art. Now, uh, it does have an equalizer uh, uh, that you can have running, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, but I also wanted the album art. And there's just a lot of blank space here, so there's plenty of room to have that. And so I use uh, media utilities to show the album art, but what I did is I created a button using Tasker uh, scenes to be able to turn on or off that album art. So the button is down here in the corner because there's really nothing else that I need this corner for. And if I tap that corner, uh, then you'll see the album art shows up right there in between the uh, name and the uh, 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 name of the song. And again, this is uh, done through media utilities and overlays. So that's a whole separate thing. Uh, I have reviewed media utilities and talk about it a lot in the Android car tablet series. And then I also did a review of overlays uh, in my app review. So you can check that out to see more about how overlays work. But overlays has a plugin in Tasker. And this is a little invisible scene down here in the corner. That's really just a little button. And uh, so when I tap that, that interacts with overlays to turn that overlay on or off. And that's how that works. Now, um, what I wanted to do, and uh, I've talked to the developer, maybe he'll add this functionality in later, but these two things, when you tap them, they don't really do anything. Uh, they're just used to display information. If you long press, then it allows you to change what's displayed, but when you tap them, they don't do anything. And I thought it'd be cool to make those have actions because uh, they're always available to you. No matter what screen you're on, they don't change. So I'd like to maybe make some of these buttons that I use a lot, like the voice search, if I could bind that into that, or if I, if I could make it so that, for example, I don't have to swipe over here to the music screen to skip a track or to pause the music. Uh, if, there was a way, if it was tied into one of these buttons, then you know I could do that even if I was on this screen and music was playing. So what I did is I created two additional scenes. They're kind of long scenes. One is here and one is here and they are invisible you can't see them but uh, I uh, at first I had color in them and then I took that out and I'll probably add that back in just so you guys can see it uh, but uh, then I added uh, swipes like swipe right to go to the next song and you can see it's going to the next song now or swipe left to go back and uh, uh, then I don't even know if I've added functionality to this one yet. Um, I just did all this recently, so I'm still kind of deciding what I want them to do. But uh, that way, no matter what scene, screen I'm on, and the reason I did it is because this doesn't really serve any purpose. Um, this, again, it displays information, but it doesn't do anything uh, as far as uh, interactive. So I was like, well, hey, I can cover it up with this invisible scene so it doesn't, I can still see the information, but I also now have the ability to tie in uh, gestures to give functionality to that area. And I did it to both this area and this area. So now no matter what screen I'm on, I know I can have access to do those things. So let's jump into Tasker just so you can kind of see uh, how I set that up and how that works. So we're going to go back here and you'll see when Car Home Ultra is active, I have a task called Car Controls. 
And then when it goes inactive, car music exit. So car controls, besides uh, any other thing it does, it shows these three scenes. Now, one thing, just so you know, Car Home Ultra, uh, when it uh, is launched, it uh, binds to your tablet as being active even when in the background. So if it's active, these scenes are going to show. If you go out of that app, but you, you it's like, for example, if you go into Tasker, then uh, because it's still an act considered an active app, those scenes will still be there. So that's something to know. But uh, we're going to go into these two tasks. So you can see the way I set them up. Actually, let's take that back. First, let's go into scenes. So we're going to go into scenes, and you'll see car music, car left, and car right. So car music, that's the little button, and you'll see it's invisible. Uh, this is just a background that shows up when you're working on scenes and tasks or whatever your background is. Uh, but this is the box, but it's really tiny. If I give color to that, um, let's give it color real quick just so you can... Uh, see so you see and uh, if I you know see that's a little box so that's the box and then all I did was in here in actions under tap I made it toggle the uh, overlay which is the album art um, no other functions because there's nothing else I wanted it to do I just wanted it to toggle that album art uh, on or off so that's that one. I'm gonna leave it colored so you can see it when we go back into the app. And then car left, and you see it's a rectangle. And there it is when it's minimized into normal, what it's gonna look like. Let's give it some color too, for the same reason. Something you can see. All right, and you'll see a tap uh, I set to play and pause. A long tap has nothing, and then stroke. I just set right for uh, next and left for previous. And I just uh, used shortcuts using the, uh, let me show you this, because this is something you might be interested in. I used uh, Auto Shortcut Pro. Um, which is a Tasker plugin, Auto Shortcut Pro. Once you have it installed, you can trigger any shortcuts, Android shortcuts. And uh, since uh, Car Home Ultra itself supports shortcuts, using Auto Shortcut Pro, I could then choose the Car Home Ultra shortcut uh, for next. And then same thing except with previous. And so that's that one. And then Car Right. You can see, same thing. Let's give it some color. And tap, nothing. I haven't really added anything to this yet, as you can see. I'm still deciding what I want to do with it. But I'll probably add uh, a tap and then a stroke right, stroke left in order to be able to uh, do that. So now, going back to uh, that, those are the three scenes with the actions. And then going back to task, you can see on, uh, let's see, car, here we go, car music scene. Nope, that's not what we want. Car controls, that's what we want. So car controls. So show scene, uh, and this is the uh, car music. This is the one, the little button, and you can see the horizontal position. I mean, all the way to the left, so as far to the left it would go, and then vertical position all the way to the bottom. So that's why it's in this bottom corner. Because uh, when you show a scene within any task, that's what decides where it is. So the same scene, you could hook up to different tasks and have it show in different places depending on what, uh, you know, what app you're launching. Um, for this particular app, that's where I wanted it to show. So I have it set for left and, and bottom. And then for car left, you can see I have it at left and top. And then for car right, you can see I have it all the way to the right in the top. And you can adjust these. I mean, the best way to do this is, uh, you know, 
when you first do it, you don't want to make it invisible, of course. You want it to have color like we have now. And then you you guesstimate the, these this information and then you go look at it, see how it looks. Oh, okay, it needs to go up. Jump back into Tasker, make it go up a little more. Go back, look at it. You know, it takes some trial and error, um, but eventually you get it right. Uh, let me show you really quick uh, something else. The car music scene. This is what displays, uh, wait, no, that's not the one. That's not what I wanted. Uh, let's go to car, back to, Let's go back to scenes, go to car music, and let's see, that tap, here we go, and the overlays, so if you tap this, you can see what I did, is I chose uh, uh, overlays, which is a, an input, and then I chose the widget I had created in the app, overlays, and with overlays, you can have it a ta you can have an action be on, off, or toggle. And so I have it set to toggle. So that way each time I tap the scenes, it triggers this and it toggles that widget off or on, which is the uh, album art widget. So that's how that is set up. So let's go back to the home screen. It's Car Home Ultra. And now you can see, you can see the block here, here, and here. So those are what those uh, uh, look like. and. You can uh, see if I, let's see, let's open up maps. Um, Google Maps. And you can see those disappear when I open up uh, maps because now there's a different app that is the focus. Uh, but if I go out of maps and back to Car Home Ultra, these scenes come back. Now, one thing you want to note um, if I go to See if I open up Tasker, uh, these scenes haven't disappeared. And that's because Tasker hasn't really took, taken over. Tasker's running, but Car Home Ultra, because it the way that it kind of binds itself, when it's active, it's, it's always active. So when you open Tasker, these are still showing. Uh, but when you open another app, they should disappear. Uh, but you can see when you're in Car Home Ultra, of course they're there. If we turn Car Home Ultra off, then they're gone. And so, anyway, that's how I use them. Uh, again, it gives you, you know, you could add a tap, a long press, besides swipe right and swipe left, you could even do swipe down and swipe up. Um, even though you don't have much room, you can still get a swipe action out of, uh, you know, a short swipe. But this is my car tablet, so I just want things, you know, I don't want little things where you have to be precise. I want things, big buttons. That's why these are so big, because it's, you know, for use while you're driving. So a big area where I can swipe right or swipe left to go to the next song or previous song or tap to pause, no matter what screen I'm on. Um, of course, if I'm on this screen, I have the music controls. But when I'm on another screen, then I wanted to have uh, a way to do that without having to necessarily go over this screen. And then have this area, which as you can see, I haven't even assigned anything to yet, but uh, uh, probably gonna assign voice assistant stuff maybe to this screen so that even when I'm on the music screen, I can launch that without any problem. And then the button there, which just uh, pops up the album art of whatever album is, is currently playing. So anyway, that's it. Uh, again, this particular lesson series is not a step-by-step -step building this stuff the way we normally do, but that's because you have all the uh, uh, knowledge that you would need to build this from previous lessons, and this is just showing you different applications, different ways you can uh, use, the, use these things. So hopefully this uh, has proven helpful to you, or at least maybe given you some cool ideas of some uh, cool things that you can do with your own uh, tablet or phone. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Click that like button. Uh, if you haven't watched all the other tutorials, then you owe it to yourself to do so if you want to get the best use out of Tasker. Uh, other tutorials will step you through stuff and help you really learn how to use Tasker uh, to the fullest. Uh, check out my channel for tons of uh, Android app reviews, car tablet series, also tons of product reviews, cool gadgets and things to go with your phone or your tablet and just use in your house and lots of fun stuff over there. So check that out as well. Anyway, that's going to be it until next time. So have fun with Tasker.